It's a smorgasbord. He, he started to go for that. The sick you... one has lights and look at the look at this business. It's a multifunctional <laughs> piece of equipment. Why not? Hi, Daniel. You guys want to go for a ride with me? Come on, doggies. Let's go for a ride with mommy. Come on. Get them out of everybody else's hair. Well then, well then, good morning. Good morning on Tuesday, September 29th. Things got a little difficult because Daniel is running a fever and hasn't been feeling well since Sunday afternoon. So we saw the doctor on telehealth yesterday and she prescribed an antibiotic because he seems like he has a sore throat. Maybe, we don't know. This morning he was 101 with no respiratory symptoms. So, even though the APRN was like, well, I wouldn't bring him for a test quite yet, blah, blah, blah. He did go to Yale last week, but he was at the hospital last week. And I, I don't know, you know, you don't know. He's got new, new nurses and, you know, people come in and out. Anyway, I think I'm going to figure out the best and quickest way to get him a COVID test because now John's like, if Daniel's sick, do I go to work? What do I do? Because he goes to work once a week into the office. The rest he stays at home. But this morning, my heart was breaking because Daniel was just miserable. You know how when you have a fever and you're like super achy and hot and just awful? So, so that is what has been going on. And I'm trying to evaluate all of that and still uh, just figure it out. These are weird times, right? He's probably just sick with something that he gets sick with because he does have fevers sometimes and he, you know, I think we've had more hospitalizations for fevers of unknown origin than anything, but this is a pandemic, so. Um, I don't know. So we're all just being cautious and as much as you can be, it's just so hard. It's hard inside a house with a special needs person who has care coming in. Now our nurses are great with PPE, uh, as are the therapists and stuff, but it doesn't take much. But And also Daniel is extremely fragile and his immune system is fragile. so. He could just have like some other thing going on. He could have strep throat or just another cold or viral syndrome. I don't know. I don't know at this point, guys. So that's what's been affecting me since Sunday. Come on, guys. 
They go way off into the woods. <laughs> Come on. These trees look so pretty. Oh. Okay, so I was just sitting in the chair editing. It's a rainy day. Daniel's still sick. He's with the nurse. He has a COVID test in the morning. I scheduled one. Yeah, that's my day. How's your day? I hope it's going awesome. I'm trying to stay positive. Shaving up in here. Look at behind me. I got a couple pumpkins. I'm not putting out all the gooey Halloween-y things anymore. I just want to keep it simple this year and pretty. And I did this. Look at this. picked up those pumpkins the other day anyway my friends here want to go outside and I need to get the mail wow it's so dark today anyway mm -hmm. hi it's Wednesday and I'm walking next door because my my van is next door because of the construction we had going on we're taking Daniel for a uh, COVID test at CVS this morning it's 9 30 he's got a 10 a.m just to make sure because he still has a fever it's been sunday monday tuesday wednesday five, four days when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun oh we know what we have let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it Do you have a new sidewalk? Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. really nice. Easy. 